My name is Nika, and thank you so much for joining me today for our yoga flow and stretch practice. So you can make yourself comfortable on a mat. You can also bring a blanket, pillows, anything that you need to make yourself feel better for any seated portions of the class. So I'll grab a little blanket. We're going to start seated. You can sit nice and high on your sits bones. Move the flesh out from underneath so you can really feel grounded. And let's start by putting our hands gently on our laps, palms up or down. Up would be more receptive and down would be more internal. Whatever you need, perhaps one palm up, one palm down. And just do a nice body scan. Breathing into your sits bones. Noticing the contact you have with the floor, with the space around you, with your clothing. Taking a deep inhale and breathing deep into your pelvic floor, sending your breath nice and low. And in opposition, feeling the crown of your head lifting as your sits bones are rooted down. Feeling the expansion in all directions. It's a three-dimensional experience. Bring the hands to touch at heart center and start to rub them together, creating some friction, some heat. Continue to breathe and feel the length up and down your spine. Keep rubbing very vigorously, but relaxing the shoulders, the neck. Create some heat and gently bring the fingers apart and feel the magnetism, feel the attraction between them. And again, Rubbing, breathing, inhale and exhale. Bringing the palms to touch your heart center. The thumbs can come to your sternum, pressing into each other, pressing into your heart. We're going to inhale, exhale, and then inhale for OM. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale to chant. Oh. Letting the vibration settle around you. Consider if there's an intention for your practice today. Whatever it may be. Perhaps you wish to be more present with your breath, just noticing the inflow and outflow as you move. Perhaps it's the awareness of your body in space, proprioception. Perhaps it's a very specific intention that only you know, something you're working on at this time, whether it's patience, trust, vulnerability, confidence, acceptance, forgiveness. It could be anything. Just take a moment now to honor that. Consider your intention. Take a breath in. And suspending at the top, breathe out. Gently blink your eyes open. I'm going to remove, if you were sitting on a pillow, a block, blanket, you're going to remove that, put that out of the way, and we're going to come to all fours. So really feeling your hands firmly planted into the ground, find a neutral spine, your shins are hip distance, we're going to take it in, inhale, arching, gazing up, and you can tuck your toes, and exhale, contracting, navel to spine, gazing at your belly button, inhale, exhale. Really carving through the space. Inhale, lifting your heart through the arms and exhale, concave shape. Really scooping out the belly button here. Inhale, and exhale. Now we can start to make it a little juicier. You can tuck and lift, adding a little 
abdominal engagement, pressing the shins in and pressing your hands down. See how you can levitate gently off the mat. That engagement of your navel to spine and how that can actually move you through space. Now start to find some circles. Deconstruct the movement. Doesn't have to be so form-fitting in a box. Circle both directions. Circling the hips, the head, the shoulders, start to find little collapses and stretches and play with your focus. Perhaps that was your intention, to work on focus and where the eyes go and subsequently where the movement follows. It's all connected. Keep on breathing as we keep milking this movement, keep exploring. Perhaps you stretch a leg. Finding some space, finding some more range. And finding stillness. Widen the knees and push yourself back to a nice child's pose. Stretching out the back body, keeping your hands firmly planted into the mat. Rocking the head side to side, massaging the forehead. Inhale, center. Lengthen and walking out to the right side. We're stretching out the left side body. So this area here is really opening up nicely as we reach to the right, sending the hips to the left. Take another inhale. Exhale, inhale, walk it back to center, exhale, inhale, walking to the left, stretching out the right side body, so hands move to the left, our hips are shifting to the right, stretching the right side body, breathing into the space. Inhale, exhale, inhale, walk it back to center, and as we exhale, let's roll back to our seat, we're going to come up to our knees, to our shins, clasp the hands behind you, roll your shoulders up, back, and down, as we inhale, lengthen, and lift our gaze to the ceiling, lifting our sternum to the sky. See if you can feel that stretch in your throat, across your chest. And exhale. Inhale up. And find a nice seat to recover. Rolling the shoulders forward. Elbows. Full arm and find a contraction, belly button goes back. And again, shoulders, elbows, full arm, belly button goes back. One more time in this direction, we have shoulders, elbows, full arm, contract back with the belly button, and reversing, shoulders forward, elbows, full arm, Send your belly button back and shoulders, elbows, full arm. Allow your gaze to follow, belly button sends back. And again, shoulders, elbows, full arm. Let your gaze follow, belly button goes back. We're gonna come back to our shins. This time, if you'd like to place your hands on your lower back, you can. Inhale, lengthen, start to look up and gently arch back. You might walk yourself down to your heels to touch them. Inhale, camel pose. Breathing. Inhale, bringing the hands back to the lower back. Exhale, down. Tucking the toes, bringing the hands to the mat. You're in a small ball. Take a bounce, bounce, stretch. 
You can still have a micro bend in the knees here. Hands back down, balls of the feet. Take a bounce, bounce, stretch. And again, bounce, bounce, stretch. Walking your hands and your feet forward to the middle of your mat. I'm gonna go like this so you can see me better. We're gonna sway side to side. You can interlock your hands into your elbows. Take a nice round doll sway. Your feet can be about two fists width apart. <sighs> Exhale, we can make sound. Now planting your right hand down, peel up your left arm, bending the right knee, circling that right hand, and dropping down, and reverse that. Left hand goes down, right arm peels up, bending the left knee, gazing up at the right hand as it circles, wrist circles in both directions. And down. Take a deep bend, keeping your heels planted. You can bring your hands to the back of your head to gently create some traction. And stretch. Take a half lift. And down. Walk your hands forward, walk your feet back. We're gonna be in a nice long plank position here. So rock yourself front to back, feeling the support of your core lifting you as we start to make some circles. So transferring the weight from the right hand to the left hand, left foot, right foot. Continue in this direction. We're going left to right. Keeping a micro bend in our elbows. If you're like me and you're hyperextended, we don't wanna go beyond our safe limits in that way, so just be aware of your body. And now shifting the other direction. The weight shifts from the right hand, right foot, left foot, left hand. Circling right to left. Keep on circling, keep creating that fire. We're creating some heat. And you can drop your knees, elbows come in. As we go down, untuck the toes, baby cobra and down, push yourself back to a child's pose. And coming back, tucking to a plank, reversing that pull, your hips up to the sky, your high, high, high up on your toes, your heels are lifted, gazing at your belly button. You can gaze between your thighs and gently start to bring your uh, heels back down, so feeling the stretch in the backs of the legs. Really activating your hands into the floor. Sending the sits bones high. Shaking the head out. Now lifting those heels, we're going to open up the elbows to the sides. Bring them back into parallel. Push away and drop the heels down. So we're really plugging our shoulder blades right in. So releve, lift the heels, bending the elbows to the sides, bring them back to parallel, push through the hands, and send the heels back down. Take three breaths here, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees. You can step or walk to the front or the back of your mat. Shake your head no, half lift, and down. Bring your feet to touch. We're going to scoop up into a nice chair pose. So we really want to bring our weight back into our heels. Arms are lifted, I'm going to face you here. So really being aware of our knees going over the toes and even, even with the knees so we don't have one going in front of the other. You can keep your arms expressing out at the sides in a high V. You can also bring them to heart center. We're going to twist to the right. So really hook your elbow if you can onto the lower thigh and inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Opening up the ribs, the side body, just noticing your feet, noticing your knees, making sure everything's in alignment. Taking a deep breath in 
and twisting, wringing it all out, wringing out the toxins, whatever we don't need. You can open up the arms for a nice flying, expansive shoulder blade opening experience, gazing up, hands to heart center, inhale, exhale, dive down, half lift up, and down, rising back up into chair pose, sitting nice and low so you can see this, hands to heart center, inhale, lift, exhale, opposite side, we're going to hook our right elbow on the upper on the lower left thigh, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, finding the depth, I feel the burn too, just keep breathing, remembering your intention, inhale, exhale, open to fly if you'd like, inhale, exhale, really bringing the gaze up to that upper left hand, inhale, Exhale, hands to heart center, inhale, take a baby back bend and dive down, inhale, half lift, exhale, down, you can jump or float, bending the arms, bending the elbows in, upward facing dog, tucking the toes, downward facing dog, taking three deep breaths. Notice where you are now. Notice the traveling things, the molecules, the cells, what has shifted in your body as you're creating some heat. Third breath. Inhale, lift the heels, roll forward, rippling into a plank. And again, chatter on the down, upward facing dog, stretching out the abdominals and tucking the toes. Back to down dog. Lifting our left leg, we're gonna start with it square, and then you can open up the hip, circle out the ankle. Aiming to keep the arms, the rib cage, everything else square. You can start to open your hip. That feels good for you. Bend it out. I also like to explore some circles. So allow that left leg to really trace the space as best as possible within your space that you're in. And circling down, and let's reverse that. So you can really carve it out, go behind you, find, <laughs> find room. I have a wall and everything in my way, but that's okay. So with that left leg up, we're going to bring the left knee to the left elbow, and kick it back parallel, square hips, and left knee to right elbow, Kick it back, square hips, and left knee to nose, and again, keep bringing it back, and let's bring it right through now to a nice lunge. You can come to your fingertips, finding your rise, keeping your hips nice and square. Inhale, exhale, opening. Seeing if you can gaze over that left hand. And swinging up and down. We're going to switch it over to the other side, opening the hip, rocking side to side, finding that transition. Coming to our right and stepping into downward dog, taking Three breaths here, finding the asymmetry, symmetry within the asymmetry. We're all a little different on both sides. Obviously now that we stretched one side, you can pedal up your feet, notice the difference. We're about to even things out a little bit, so that'll feel good. Let's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, ripple forward, bending the elbows, chaturanga down, chest comes through, upward dog, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Sending the right leg up, first parallel, and finding an opening in the hip, 
bending the knees, that feels good. Aiming to keep the arms, the ribs square as much as possible, but the hips, let them open. Bending the leg up, you can rotate it out, heel comes forward and start carving those circles on this side. So really tracing the space, feeling the different stretches as you move your leg through and reversing, opening it up like the rising sun. Crossing behind you, completing your circle. Yes, flex and point, circle the ankle more. Do what feels right. Keep pushing into the hands, pushing into the ground with your left leg. We're going to bring the right knee into the right elbow, hover, engaging that lower abdominal area, really bring the navel to the spine. We're going to bring the right knee to the left elbow, kick it back in parallel, send the heel energy back to feel the back of the leg stretch, knee to nose, hover, carve out that belly button, and again, stretch. And this time, stepping between the hands, come up to the fingertips. Feel, whew, that's a pony. <laughs> Feel the stretch in the back leg. Inhale, nice long stance. Beautiful lunge, looking over the right shoulder towards the right hand. Aiming to keep our hips nice and square. Feeling the twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And swinging back up and down. Turning out the heels, we're going to swoop and stretch out over to the left. Turning out both legs, carving through center, feeling this energy like we have a giant hovering ball beneath us that we're floating on. Reaching over towards your right side now. And try that same transition, pushing between the legs. One more time here. Circling forward. And to the left. And squaring back out to the left side. So I have my left leg here in front. We're going to drop the right knee. Drop the head. And breathe into this space. Keeping the core engaged. I'm feeling a lot of stretch in my right hip flexor. Heavy head, that really helps increase the stretch. We're going to plant the left hand down and peel the right arm up following the gaze and really stretching the right side body. Carving a circle down, plant the right hand and sweep the left arm over to catch the left, the right foot. <laughs> Opposition, yes. And looking back over your right shoulder. You can also come to your forearm to deepen the stretch and pulling your foot, your right foot gently in as you gaze at the back diagonal in the direction of your foot. Nice quad stretch here. Breathe. Feel the diagonals in your body, the, the angle, your head, your leg, feeling that long line of energy. Always aspiring for more. Stretch the possibilities. Return to your attention. And release. And now you can walk out your left foot a bit so that you can come onto your forearms and tuck the back toe under and start to rock front and back. So preparing in this like lizard pose, getting nice and low and opening up that left hip. I love this. This feels so delicious. And you can also bring your hands back to the mat and start to heel toe, heel toe, walking out that left foot so that we come into a pigeon. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ripple, undulate down. Keeping the back toe tucked so we stay nice and square for now. Inhale. Exhale, rippling through the spine. Inhale, untuck the back toe. And now we're going to surrender forward in a pigeon pose. So take this time to melt, dropping the forehead down. You can also support your head with a block if this is too much of a stretch or have a lesser version, lesser uh, extreme version. 
of this pigeon pose. And essentially, right now mine is at 90, but if I brought it into a 45 degree angle, it would be less intense. So do what feels good for you and your body. Keep breathing and surrendering into the pose. Even though this is a still place, we're always moving. Reaching the arms. Another two breaths. Walking our way back up, pushing into the floor with our hands. We're going to bring the hands down into the mat, tuck the back toe under, come back into a plank, and just feel the difference again between the sides. So we had our left leg forward, and we were stretching out that right quadricep. Now we're going to reverse that. But before we do, let's take an intermission with a slight little plank. Let's fire it up again, down on my forearms. Head is nice and long ahead of me. Feel any energy out of my heels, out of the crown of my head. Clasp the hands together, pressing the forearms down. Let's drop the right hip, the left hip, the right hip, the left hip. We're doing some side to side oblique work here. So really keeping the navel into the spine, keeping the engagement. We don't want to collapse into our back. We don't want to hurt ourselves, but it's really important to have a strong core to support us during these postures and through life. And again, bringing yourself back up, down, chaturanga up, tuck the toes, walk or jump back to center. I'm gonna find my way to the other side so that you can see. Half lift up, down, bending the knees, jump or walk back, up dog, Downward dog. We're going to do the opposite side now. So we're going to lick that right side up, bringing the leg through. We're going to be dropping the left knee down, untucking the toe, dropping the head, keeping the engagement of our belly button to spine, still feeling the stretch. Now it's in our left hip flexor. Planting the right hand down, peel the left arm up and over. Circling down, planting the left hand and sweeping the right arm over, catching that back left foot. You can stay up like this or you can come down to your forearm if you did that on the other side and it feels right. Breathing into the stretch. Finding pleasure in the discomfort that may arise. Different emotions, different things can come up. How do we stretch? When we put our bodies to you know, challenge ourselves, really. When we, when we don't stay complacent and subtle. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, release, tuck that back toe under. You can start to walk out the right front foot and come down to your forearms. So we're gonna rock front and back, opening up the space in the outer right hip here. If you'd like, you can also um, come to the edge of the right foot and that goes a little deeper into the stretch. It's really up to you, just listen to your body. Now pressing back into the floor with your hands, we're going to heel toe, heel toe, our right foot in front into a pigeon. It could be 90, it could be 45, whatever you need. Keeping the back toe tucked, we're going to inhale, exhale, ripple down on my finger pads right now. Inhale, finding length, exhale, undulate forward. Inhale up, exhale down, untuck that back toe. We're going to inhale one last time to lengthen and walk it out forward in front of you. Long arms, dropping the head, heavy head to the mat. You might feel some intensity here in the hips. I mean, 
it's normal. It's normal. The hips carry a lot of emotion, so we carry a lot with us, a lot of baggage, a lot of thoughts and feelings. Just experience them. Notice them. You don't have to hold on to anything. Just keep connecting with your breath and breathe it. Breathing, excuse me, breathing through it. <sighs> Vocalize, let it out, let it out. Breathing in deeply down to the pelvic floor. Through all your cells, exhale. Inhale, exhale, start to walk it back up, tucking the back toe under, bringing the right foot to match it in a nice plank. We're going to find those circles again that we found in the beginning. This time we're going to bring the right hand under and do a nice side plank. So stretching the right hand up, circling the wrist. Really lifting here in the core. We don't want to collapse our hips, so really keeping the hips nice and lifted, nice and long. Gaze up. You can circle your right arm up and overhead. This feels like a nice stretch in my side ribs. And reverse. Sweeping and carving circles, just like we did with our legs. Sweeping the arm forward, tracing up the body. Feel the length. You can do it. Breathe. And threading the arm through and switching sides. You're on your right forearm now. Peeling up the left arm. Gazing up at it. And circle that wrist. Again, notice the collapse or the desire to collapse on the right side. So keep yourself nice and lifted like you have helping hands below you. Reaching up and over. Create that circle. Carve out the space. And reverse it. Reach out long in front of you. Trace up your body. Breathe. Create more length. And bringing the left hand down, the right hand down, dropping the knees, coming back to a nice child's pose to stretch it out. You can bring your hands down here if you'd like to, to stretch and create a different sensation. You can release the arms. Inhale. Exhale, roll it up into rock pose. You're doing a beautiful job. Keep it up, okay? We're almost there. We're going to come on to our bottom now. So sit up nice and tall on your sits bones. Feet are in front of you, hips width apart. Inhale, arms up, nice and long. Exhaling, down. And arms come overhead. Inhale, exhale. Slowly peeling up. I'm going to adjust my seat, but keep rolling down, one vertebrae at a time, articulating as we exhale. Inhale, arms lift, chin to chest, tuck. Exhale, continue coming up. Inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale. Head lifts. Keep peeling yourself up, up, up. Scooping up that belly button. And exhale. Down. Bringing the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice rock side to side. Taking the knees and opening them gently, creating some circles and space and reversing that. Bring your legs up. You can circle out the feet, turning them out and in. And dropping the right, dropping left, dropping right, dropping left, keeping your hands firmly planted into the ground and a T helps to stabilize. But just shake it out, shake it out. Dropping one, dropping the next, and reversing directions. Ah, let out a sigh. Shake it up. And you're going to start to rock and roll back and front. Back, front, come back a little further on the edge of your mat so we have room to go. Up. Oh. 
So our elbows are pressing into the mat. Our hands are on our lower back to support ourselves, middle lower back. And if you'd like to take it all the way into a plow, this is a great way to open the back. You can flex your feet, your toe pads reach down, and you can start to rock. You can drop your arms if that feels good. And you can even interlock your hands and create a nice stretch here. Breathe in. You can bend the knees, dropping them if that feels good, supporting yourself with the hands. You can rock side to side. Be gentle here, you know, know your body. Centering, straightening out those legs and slowly surrendering. Arms can come up and glide. And you can bring your legs down one at a time, nice and gentle. Windshield wiper the legs, if that feels good, just to release your back, okay, in case. <sighs> that always feels really good for me, I know. And rock and roll gently coming up. One final stretch for us today before we rest. So bringing our feet together, soles of the feet, sit up nice and tall on the sits bones, rolling the shoulders up, back, and down. You can take your hands and put them on either the tops of your feet or underneath, whatever you like. Just any way that you can feel anchored to the ground. So my sits bones are like my feet in this case. Imagine you are a tree and those are your roots. And you are going to inhale, lengthen out the crown of the head. Exhale, nice and long down. Your elbows can assist to your thighs and staying down. And just think of the length. So you're going out nice and long. Don't just collapse down into the easiest position or place you can go to. We don't want to schlump. Really aspire towards something. Be like a plant, like a flower blooming in the spring. Inhale, lengthen and reach out nice and long as we exhale and surrender. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen, keeping the chest broad and open. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale. When you find you reach your edge, you can release the head heavy and take some breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rolling up the spine, bringing the legs out nice and long. I'm gonna just do a forward bend, shake them out. Move the flesh under the ass, under the six bones. Sit up nice and tall and reach down. You can reach for the backs of your, the bottoms of your feet, or your toes, or the mat. Pointing and flexing. I like to point my toes and, you know, press down on my toes, my, the tops of my toes, the tops of my feet, just to feel the extra stretch in my ankles, the front of the ankles. And alternately, I like to flex my feet and feel the calf stretch, the stretch going in the backs of my legs. So you can play with some undulations and keep breathing. No matter what, you must breathe. It's the most important thing. Surrender. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk it farther, a little deeper. Keeping the shoulders down. It, Keeping the scapula engaged down the back. And rolling up. Ah, beautiful. We can find our pillow cushion block, whatever it is that we had before, if that feels good. You can sit down on it. We're going to come to a nice, comfortable seated position. Closing our eyes, resting our hands down on our lap. Taking a moment to be quiet. 
Feel your body. Feel your state of mind. What has shifted? What has, what is new? How do you feel now compared to how you felt at the beginning of this practice? Anything is okay. Anything that comes up is okay. Just observe it, notice it. Everything is fleeting. Every moment is passing. We can't grab the air. We can just witness our experience and be active within it. Active and able to surrender. Bring to mind your intention from the start of this practice. Bring your hands to heart center. Rubbing those hands together again, feeling the warmth, the connection of your body to yourself. Rubbing those hands. Feel the energy. Bring them to heart center. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, surrendering, sinking deeper, continuing to lengthen out of the crown of the head, long back of the neck, expansive rib cage, relaxed hips. Inhale deeply into your pelvic floor, way deep down. Your ribs, feeling the breath travel higher as it opens the, the space between your clavicle, your sternum spreading. Collarbone opening nicely, exhaling like an accordion, feeling your breath gently expanding. Space within you, creating more room, more possibility. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to inhale to chant Om. Inhale. Om. Sealing our practice with this thought, with this intention. If it feels right, you can bring your hands to your third eye. Feeling the connection with your intuition. Trusting yourself. Thanking yourself for showing up today. The light in me honors the light in you. Continue to be your own best teacher. Learn from yourself and those around you. And honor yourself for coming to the mat and taking this time to practice. I'm grateful to have you here. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for taking this time to practice with me. I had fun. I hope you did too. And I'll be back. I'll be around. So thank you. Let me know questions, comments, thoughts, anything you want to feel or, you know, work on next time. I'd love to hear. And I love suggestions. I love, you know, new inspirations, new ideas. Otherwise, I'll just keep on flowing with you and sharing with you what I enjoy doing myself. And I hope you do too. So have a great day. And have a beautiful, beautiful practice. Onward and upward. Keep strong. Keep positive and flexible, okay?